hello friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel rich fountain if you haven't done so today we do the starchy vegetable cooking basics and basically so we'll doing we'll be doing the uh, in this lesson i will provide you with an overview of starchy vegetables when it comes to preparing them cooking them and eating them start to vegetables are a wonderful condition to the diet because they serve a twofold purpose one they are one of the most important sources of calories in a whole plant based food and two they provide a rich variety of macro and micronutrients making their calories nutrient dense they are an excellent source of healthy carbohydrates and fiber they contain a great portion of protein for human needs and are naturally low in fat in addition they are full of vitamins and minerals vital nutrients and antioxidants starchy vegetables tend, tend to be very filling you know satisfying and pleasant tasting uh, but they are most specifically referred to vegetables like potatoes sweet potatoes cassava yams and uh, uh, and winter squashes secondary options which are sometimes referred to as starchy vegetables but really find themselves in between the starchy and the non starchy vegetables are root vegetables like carrots par parsnips beets and turnips starchy vegetables can also include peas which are technically illegal and corn which is technically a grain when it comes to portions there isn't a specific amount of them or frequency with which you should eat them in your daily diet as this will vary based on the type of starchy vegetables where you live season of the year and your health needs and preferences you should make sure that they are in your diet on a regular basis be this in larger or smaller amounts throughout the year a general portion per meal can be anywhere from half a cup to two cups for some people start to vegetables will play a starring role and be present on a daily basis a part of at least one meal and even largely replace grains especially for those who prefer plant based diets that are light on grains while for others starchy vegetables may play a role a smaller role and can present in the diet every few days especially if the diet is already full of grains and legumes like either way you should have never fear eating starchy vegetables when it comes to any weight or health concerns as they are some of the healthiest and most beneficial foods for us it is what they are often eaten and they how they are cooked that are real health and weight problems namely oils and animal foods and cooking methods like roasting grilling and frying quality as with all foods focus on seasonal local and organic starchy vegetables as much as possible choose specimens that are firm and fresh looking preparation starchy vegetables preparation for meals is very very easy washing it like all with all vegetables is essential and peeling is optional it will depend on the kind of starchy vegetable its age and your preferences then they simply need to be cut up into smaller pieces of your choosing now cooking cooking starchy vegetables cooking is very easy using one pan steam cook method with a layer of water on low medium heat which will expose them to minimal water heat and the heating time uh, in this way their cooking time will be between 10 to 20 minutes on average some will take less than 10 minutes some will like diced up sweet potatoes while others like winter squashes may take a little more than 20 minutes in some cases boiling in more water may be more practical and preferred as it is often the case for potatoes when you are cooking diced up potatoes or sweet potatoes using one pan method you are encouraged to basically add some non starchy vegetables and mushrooms to the pan for their appropriate cooking times for basically quick and efficient and easy one pan meals storage raw and uh, vegetables generally should be uh when you are storing it should not be refrigerated you know as this is not an ideal for them so rather they should be kept in a dark dry and cool space like pantry cellars or basements when properly stored they can easily last for weeks and even for months cooking cooked starchy vegetables should be stored in the refrigerator in clean and sealed containers note that they can easily last several days like this but given that they are cooked and their nutrient breakdown is already accelerated i recommend uh, consuming them within like about 2 days 
they can potentially be frozen if required but as much as possible cook them and consuming them is is basically fresh is the is the best financial cost starchy vegetables are some of the most economical accessible affordable and widely available vegetables so pound which i mean basically found all over the world they typically range between like $1 to $3 per pound or kilo depending on type and the quality and can be significantly cheaper when in season literally costing pennies per pound or kilo meals meals can can be starchy vegetables are enjoyed by most people of all ages and have very pleasant mild and neutral uh, say flavors that make them great to be eaten all on their own or as part of any sweet savory spicy or say or old meals mild meals they will play a starring role in our star meals which will be explained in the future sections they can also make like great soups both creamy and hearty which will be covered in later videos they can be eaten like whole or mashed or blended into all kinds of meals aside from their nice flavors they have a soft and pleasant texture when cooked which also makes them easy to consume across all age groups from babies to toddlers to the elderly you name it starchy vegetables also go really well with any fresh or dried herbs and spices especially fresh fresh dill cilantro rosemary fresh or dried garlic ginger and onion and most of the dried spices cilantro and rosemary fresh yeah and that's for most vegetables fresh lemon juice can add a very welcome hint of tart and fresh flavors to your meal with starchy vegetables and uh, of course uh, we are, i will reemphasize some of these points in the coming uh, videos in this section i will provide you some with some specific examples of cooking certain common starchy vegetables okay